Good evening. My topic of presentation is Marcus Gunjong-Winking syndrome in a patient of congenital ptosis. Introduction. This syndrome is seen in 5% of all congenital ptosis. Most are unilateral and it has been postulated that a branch of mandibular division of the fifth cranial nerve is misdirected to the levator muscle. Case report, a nine-year-old male child presented with drooping of left upper lid and complaints of involuntary lead elevation on eating food. Child born by a normal vaginal delivery, full-term baby, developmental milestones achieved up to age. On general examination, bro position, facial symmetry were normal. Head symmetry, slight chin elevation was noted. On ocular examination, on the upper lid of the left eye, there was drooping noted. Other anterior segment findings were normal. Fundus was within normal limits. On tosses evaluation, the uncorrected visual acuity was both eyes 6 by 6. Extraocular muscle, extraocular movements were full in all direction. Palpable facial height was 10 millimeter on the right eye and 7 millimeter on the left eye. Palpable fissure on down gaze was 2 mm on left right eye and 4 mm on the left eye. MRD1 was noted to be 4 mm on the right and 1 mm on the left. MRD2, 6 mm on both eyes. The LPS action, 15 mm on the right eye and 9 mm on the left eye. No lag of thymus is what is noted. Lid folds were present. Lid creases were 7 mm in both eyes. The amount of ptosis from the difference of palpable fissure values were 3 mm and from the difference of MRD1 was 3 mm. Bell Bell's phenomenon was noted good in both eyes. And there was elev on elevation of totic, uh, elevation of totic lid was seen uh, on mouth opening, a jaw movement to contralateral side and jaw forward protrusion which was seen on the left side of the totic lid and uh, not seen on clenching of the jaw. Grade of the ptosis on uh, elevation of the lid was 6 mm. Corneal sensation were present in both eyes. The diagnosis is a left complex moderate congenital ptosis with good LPS action and severe Marcus Gunn Jew winking phenomenon. Management unilateral levator recession to address the synkinetic winking component with ipsilateral frontalis suspension for lid elevation solely to the frontalis muscle elevation. Thus, he was referred to higher center in view of a surgical management. Discussion of the topic, ethiopathogenesis is unclear, most commonly due to any congenital aberrant connection, trauma, or eye surgery. Most patients, they learn to mask this phenomenon. Six-monthly follow-up is advocated. Photographs help in monitoring of the patient. The necessity for correction is determined by the parent, patient, and surgeon, depending on any severity and any amblyopia and strabismus should be addressed. Thank you.